Hey YouTube, Gordon Miller here. All right, so I got this question about what are the best jobs for teenagers when they want to start their own business? It's a great question. So we talked the other day uh, <clears throat> on one of my other videos about um, what we did with our kids in terms of teaching them about money, how to save, how to give, how to spend, uh, and then how to um, start their first business at 11, uh, we, we started the allowances at five and six, and we started the, <clears throat> the um, uh, start their own business at about 10 or 11, depending on their interest level. And then at 14 and 15, we started them investing by starting their own E-Trade account and uh, earning money towards their car. So that's been our strategy so far, but I got a great question that said, uh, I'm a teenager and I want to start my own business. What do I do? Great question. So one of the things that we did with our kids <clears throat> when they got to be teenagers uh, was, you know, they had the same kind of interest in uh, starting something and controlling uh, what they do. And <clears throat> the um, there are a couple different things. So if you're a guy, uh, the options are a little different. They, they don't have to be, but they typically are. Uh, if you're a guy, um, my son did um, uh, snow removal in the in the winter months, which is nice. And um, some friends of his did um, lawn care, uh, cutting yards. Uh, you know, the average cut price, uh, you know, the average uh, lot in our neighborhood is about half an acre. Uh, and it took them about a half an hour to cut the yards. And um, they charge $45. So, I mean, that's like 90 bucks an hour. Uh, and uh, how can you beat that? So I think that that's a good uh, strategy. Snow removal, oh my God. I mean, when it snowed, uh, you know, usually it snowed for three or four days in a row. And so uh, there was always snow to be removed. And um, so the uh, they would get 25 or 50 bucks to plow out the driveway. I mean, it took less than an hour to do it. And, um, and they did pretty well with it. So I think that's a good strategy. I, I think that, um, you know, it's it's been a... A, a real money maker over the years, uh, and it doesn't snow too often. I mean, I think last year I think it only snowed like once, uh, and uh, not very much at that. Ironically, I, I can't get him to plow out our own driveway unless I pay him, so uh, that's uh, that's the only danger of that. But uh, we have a yard service that takes care of our yard, so I don't have to worry about him cutting our grass. But um, you know, it was a good strategy. The other thing was, uh, if you're a girl, uh, of course, babysitting is always a popular thing, uh, as well as um, uh, I know that uh, we have dog walkers in our neighborhood uh, that when the, the owners are at work all day, they take come by and take care of the dogs. It's been a great thing. I mean, you know, the average babysitter makes whatever they make these days. We always paid ours, you know, whatever the you know, the, the high end of minimum wage was. So it was always about 10 bucks an hour when we had, when our kids were a lot smaller, uh, you know, then, <laughs> then it was great because the kids got older and the oldest one would have to, you know, stay and make sure the house didn't burn down. And then, uh, the, uh, nothing happened to his brothers. But, um, so, you know, that's a great way. Uh, you know, the average date night can take up to three hours, you know, maybe more, uh, and at 10 bucks an hour, that's like 30 bucks. Uh, and you know, if you get clients that are routinely involved in something, then it's pretty good. Also childcare, uh, you know, a lot of people aren't necessarily all into that. Uh, but, um, you know, being a, like almost a nanny, uh, especially over the summer, things like that, when parents might want some extra help, uh, it's a great thing. Um, and of course getting, uh, here in the United States, uh, getting Red Cross certified for life-saving and, uh, infant, uh, CPR and things like that is really critical. So I think that's a good strategy. You can make some decent money. Uh, of course, uh, in terms of, uh, doing other things like having a job, uh, a lot of folks do lifeguarding and, and, uh, working at the grocery stores and things like that. And the pay is pretty good. You know, it's like seven bucks an hour and you can work up to 20 hours a week. So you're going to make some decent money for a kid. So it just depends. So, uh, but in terms of starting your own business, <clears throat> the, um, the lawn care one, uh, has been the most successful. Uh, there's at least a couple of examples on YouTube about, uh, teenage millionaires who develop these lawn care contracts and, uh, they cut yards at $45 a cut, uh, for a half an hour. And they paid the people that were cutting it 10 bucks an hour. So, you, you know, if you think about the 
transition time or the transit time from one house to another. They signed up mostly houses in the same neighborhood and uh, then they were able to um, you know, just move from house to house without needing to transport the stuff uh, that all that far. So they were able to cut four or five houses at a time over a two or three hour period. So, you know, they were able to make, you know, uh, the, the people mowing were able to make, you know, as much as 30 bucks. And uh, the guy that uh, owns the company was making a couple of hundred. I mean, it was ridiculous. But the people doing the mowing were happy uh, because they were making some serious money. And the guy owning the company was happy because he wasn't cutting lawns anymore. Uh, he was out there closing sales and recruiting people in the neighborhoods and uh, and things like that. So it's a great model. It's I, There are at least half a dozen examples of people who have done really well making over six figures in uh, you know in their um, high school math class checking on the progress of uh, some kind of um, some kind of deal where they're they're cutting grass and stuff like that so you know it's uh, it's not a bad idea um, and uh, I think that you know any service oriented job like that is going to be a good option uh, so you know I would say go for it you know <clears throat> also um, you know, do a search on YouTube for uh, teenage millionaires, or uh, or do it on you know teenage jobs or something like that, and you'll find a bunch of different things out there. But I was really impressed with what some of the kids had done. Uh, this, I think the kid with the landscape landscaping business, he um, he started at 14, cutting his own uh, cutting yards in the neighborhood. He began to focus on developing a book of business for himself. Uh, and then he diversified into several crews of people, you know, go out and buy the $300 lawnmower and put a crew out there of one or two people and get it done. And, uh, they were making some serious money. And, um, they, in, I, I believe by the time he was 16 or 17, uh, he had already grossed over a million dollars one year. So amazing stuff. I mean, it's, you know, you're sitting there while well, everybody else in your class is filling out college applications. You're going, you know, well, let's see my, you know, I got a million bucks in the bank. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm not really worried about my college application. But anyway, college is important. Uh, but when guys have figured that kind of stuff out and they're out there hustling, that's what you really want. That's amazing stuff. I love that. Uh, but um, anyway, I just wanted to answer that question. I'll be looking uh, on Quora for uh, some more uh, questions that everybody wanted answered. And I appreciate everybody following me uh, on uh, in Quora, all 70-some thousand now. Thank you so much. And, um, and the folks on YouTube, uh, you know, my, um, my, my uh, subscription rate is uh, continuing to grow, and I appreciate that. Hopefully you find the videos helpful. And, um, again, I, I really appreciate the fact that everybody's interested in the content. Hope you find it helpful, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.